Welcome back, Manifesting Maestros, to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Today, we're tackling a topic that's been on everyone's mind. Why is manifesting hard for you? If you've ever felt like you're doing everything right but your manifestations still aren't coming through, this one's for you. Spoiler alert, you're not alone and we're here to spill the tea on the big mistakes people make with the law of assumption and Neville's teachings. First off, let's acknowledge the elephant in the room. Manifesting can be tricky. It's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while blindfolded, possible but challenging. But fear not. We're breaking down the most common pitfalls that can block your manifestations faster than a cat at a door. So grab your favorite drink, sit back and let's dive into the hilariously frustrating yet enlightening world of manifestation missteps. Oh, and quick reminder, we're shadow banned, so we need your help to reach over 11 million people by the end of 2024. Like, share, subscribe and smash that notification bell to stay updated and help spread the good vibes. Now let's get into it. Misunderstanding the law of assumption. All right, let's kick things off with a classic blunder. Misunderstanding the law of assumption. Many folks think it's about wishing and hoping really hard, but that's like expecting to win the lottery without buying a ticket. The law of assumption is all about embodying the state of your wish fulfilled, believing and feeling as though your desire is already yours. The big mistake here is treating the law of assumption like a wish list rather than a state of being. It's not about saying I hope I get that job, but rather I already have that job and I'm thriving in it. Neville Goddard emphasized that you must assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. This means acting, thinking and feeling like your desire is a done deal. It's not about faking it until you make it. It's about being it until you see it. Another common error is getting too specific with how things should unfold. People often fixate on the how and when, forgetting that the universe has its own mysterious ways. It's like trying to micromanage a chef in a kitchen. You don't need to know every ingredient. Just trust that the dish will be delicious. Let the universe handle the details. Your job is to maintain the state of belief. If you're stuck in the hope zone, shift to the no zone. Instead of hoping for a change, know that it has already happened. This shift in mindset is subtle but powerful. It's like upgrading from dial-up to high-speed internet. Suddenly everything flows more smoothly. So, ditch the wishful thinking and step into your power as a conscious creator. Next up, we'll explore how focusing on the negatives can sabotage your manifestation efforts. Because let's be real, you can't attract sunshine with a rain cloud over your head. Focusing on negativity. Here's a juicy truth bomb. Focusing on negativity is like pouring water on a grease fire. It doesn't help, it just makes things worse. One of the biggest mistakes people make is constantly dwelling on what they don't want instead of what they do want. It's like walking into a bakery and complaining about the calories instead of savoring the cupcakes. Not the vibe we're going for. Neville Goddard taught that your inner state creates your outer reality. If you're perpetually worried, stressed or fixated on lack, guess what? You'll manifest more of the same. It's the ultimate self-fulfilling prophecy. The universe is like a mirror, reflecting back what you project. If you're grumbling about how broke you are, the universe is like, Roger that, more scarcity on the way. The trick is to pivot your focus. Instead of obsessing over bills, shift to feeling abundant and grateful for what you do have. This isn't about ignoring reality. It's about choosing a more empowering narrative. For example, instead of thinking, I can't afford that, try, I'm choosing to invest in things that align with my goals. It's all about the energy you put out. If you catch yourself spiraling into negative thought patterns, use the cancel clear create method. When a negative thought pops up, say cancel to stop it in its tracks, clear to erase it from your mind and create to replace it with a positive thought. It's like having an internal delete button, super handy. Next, we'll dive into the dangers of impatience and how wanting instant results can throw a wrench in your manifestation game. Because good things come to those who wait, or in our case, those who trust the universe's timing. Stay tuned. The impatience trap. Ah, impatience, the Achilles heel of many a manifester. We live in a world of instant gratification where two-day shipping feels like a lifetime. But when it comes to manifesting, patience isn't just a virtue, it's a necessity. The universe doesn't operate on our human timelines and expecting instant results can lead to frustration and doubt. It's like planting a seed and yelling at it to grow faster. Just doesn't work, folks. 
One of the most common mistakes is setting deadlines for your manifestations. Sure, it's great to have goals, but demanding that the universe deliver by next Tuesday at 3 p.m. sharp is setting yourself up for disappointment. The universe works in mysterious ways and timing, often bringing about results when we're truly ready, not when we think we are. It's like baking a cake, you can't rush it or you end up with a gooey mess. The impatience trap often leads to a lack of trust. When things don't happen quickly, it's easy to fall into doubt and start questioning whether manifestation even works. This doubt acts like a big cosmic brake pedal, slowing down the very thing you're trying to speed up. It's a paradox. The more you obsess over the when, the longer you'll wait. To combat impatience, practice the art of detachment. Focus on the feeling of your desire fulfilled, not the specifics of how and when it will come. This doesn't mean you don't care about your goals. It means you're open to them arriving in the best possible way at the best possible time. It's like placing an order at a fancy restaurant. You trust that the chef will deliver something amazing, so you relax and enjoy the ambience. Next, we'll discuss the pitfall of trying to control every detail and how it can backfire spectacularly. Spoiler, micromanaging the universe is a terrible idea. The Micromanaging Mindset All right, control enthusiasts, this one's for you. A major roadblock in manifesting is the tendency to micromanage the universe. It's like trying to dictate the plot of a movie while sitting in the audience. Not only is it impossible, but it also ruins the experience. Many people get stuck trying to control every little detail of how their manifestation should unfold. Spoiler alert, the universe has a much better screenplay in mind. Neville Goddard often emphasized the importance of trusting the process and letting go of the how. When you're fixated on specific outcomes, you limit the infinite ways the universe can deliver your desires. It's like ordering a pizza but insisting it has to come from a specific pizzeria at a specific time delivered by a specific person. Meanwhile, a gourmet chef is offering you a five-course meal for free, but you miss out because you're too busy waiting for the pizza guy. Micromanaging not only creates unnecessary stress, but also sends a message to the universe that you don't trust it to handle your desires. This lack of trust can cause resistance, blocking the very things you're trying to attract. It's like holding onto a steering wheel that's already being expertly navigated. You're just making things bumpier. So how do you break free from the micromanaging mindset? Practice the mantra, this or something better. By being open to the possibility that the universe might have something even more amazing in store, you release the need to control every detail. It's about surrendering to the flow and trusting that the universe is always conspiring in your favor. Next, we'll explore the mistake of neglecting the emotional component of manifestation. Because manifesting without feeling is like cooking without seasoning, bland and ineffective. Ignoring the emotional element. Welcome to the emotional roller coaster. If you've been treating manifestation like a sterile, emotionless checklist, it's time for a reality check. One of the biggest mistakes people make is ignoring the emotional element of manifestation. Emotions are the fuel that powers your manifestations, and without them, you're like a car without gas, going nowhere fast. Neville Goddard stressed the importance of feeling the reality of your wish fulfilled. It's not enough to visualize your desires, you have to feel them with every fiber of your being. Imagine you're manifesting a new house. Don't just picture it. Feel the warmth of the sun through the windows, the comfort of the cozy furniture, and the joy of hosting friends. The more vivid and emotional your experience, the stronger the signal you're sending to the universe. It's like cranking up the volume on a radio, your message comes through loud and clear. A common mistake is treating visualization as a mental exercise without engaging the heart. It's like eating a meal without tasting it. What's the point? The law of assumption isn't just about thinking your way into a new reality, it's about feeling it into existence. Emotions are the language of the subconscious mind, and they amplify your intentions, making them more potent and magnetic. If you're struggling to connect emotionally, start by focusing on gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that can instantly shift your energy from lack to abundance. When you're grateful for what you already have, you naturally align with the energy of receiving more. It's like saying to the universe, I'm ready for more of this good stuff. Gratitude raises your vibration and opens the floodgates for more blessings. 
Another tip is to use music or physical movement to enhance your emotional state. Music has a unique way of evoking strong emotions and can be a powerful tool in your manifestation practice. Create a playlist that makes you feel excited, joyful and inspired. Dance, sing or simply move your body to the rhythm. This physical engagement helps anchor the emotions you're trying to embody. Finally, practice emotional rehearsal. Just as athletes mentally rehearse their performances, you can rehearse feeling your desired emotions. Spend a few minutes each day deliberately conjuring up the feelings associated with your manifested desires. This practice not only strengthens your emotional connection, but also helps bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. Next, we'll explore the pitfall of seeking external validation and why it's a manifestation no-no. Spoiler! The only validation you need is your own. The trap of external validation. Now let's talk about a sneaky little trap that many manifestors fall into, seeking external validation. It's easy to get caught up in wanting others to approve of your desires or acknowledge your progress. But relying on external validation can sabotage your manifestation efforts faster than a greased pig on a slip and slide. Neville Goddard emphasized the power of self-belief, and that's where your focus should be. External validation is like building your house on sand, unstable and unreliable. When you depend on others' opinions, you give away your power. You start doubting your own desires and abilities, questioning whether you're worthy or capable. It's like handing over the reins of your life to someone else. And let's be honest, nobody knows what's best for you better than you do. Instead of seeking approval from others, cultivate a strong sense of self-validation. This means recognizing and celebrating your own progress no matter how small. Did you stick to your visualization practice this week? High five! Did you catch yourself shifting from a negative to a positive mindset? Victory dance! By acknowledging your own wins, you reinforce your belief in yourself and your manifestation abilities. It's also crucial to surround yourself with supportive, like-minded people. While you shouldn't rely on their validation, having a positive support system can uplift and encourage you. They can remind you of your power when you forget and celebrate your successes without judgment. It's like having a cheerleading squad that's always on your side, rain or shine. Remember, the most important relationship you'll ever have is the one with yourself. Your belief in your own worthiness and capability is the foundation of all your manifestations. So put on your favorite affirmations, look in the mirror and remind yourself, I am enough, I am worthy, I am powerful. Because at the end of the day, the only validation that truly matters is your own. Next. We'll discuss the common mistake of overcomplicating the manifestation process. Spoiler, sometimes less really is more. Overcomplicating the process. All right, manifesting maestros, it's time to simplify. One of the most common mistakes people make is overcomplicating the manifestation process. They add layer upon layer of rules, rituals and steps, turning a simple, natural process into a convoluted mess. It's like trying to bake a cake with 20 different ingredients when all you need are flour, sugar, eggs, and a pinch of love. Neville Goddard's teachings are elegantly simple, assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But some people think they need to add extra steps, like chanting mantras 108 times under a full moon while standing on one foot. While rituals can be a fun way to focus your intentions, they aren't necessary. The real magic lies in your belief and emotional alignment, not in the external actions you take. Overcomplicating the process can also lead to analysis paralysis. You get so caught up in doing everything perfectly that you end up doing nothing at all. It's like trying to follow a GPS that keeps recalculating, frustrating and unproductive. The more complex you make it, the more room there is for doubt and second-guessing, which can stall your manifestations. Keep it simple by focusing on the essentials, clarity, belief and emotional alignment. Be clear about what you want, believe it's already yours and feel the emotions of having it. Everything else is just icing on the cake. If you enjoy certain rituals or practices, great. But don't feel like you need to do them to manifest. The universe responds to your energy and belief, not the number of crystals you own. Another tip is to focus on one or two manifestations at a time. It's easy to get overwhelmed if you're trying to manifest a new job, relationship, house, car and a trip to Bali all at once. Prioritize what's most important to you and pour your energy into that. 
This focused attention helps channel your energy more effectively and prevents you from spreading yourself too thin. Next, we'll talk about the dangers of perfectionism in the manifestation journey. Because, spoiler, perfectionism is the enemy of progress. The perfectionism pitfall. Perfectionists, this one's for you. Hey, we used to be just like you. One of the sneakiest traps in the manifestation journey is the pursuit of perfection. It's easy to fall into the belief that everything has to be perfect for your manifestations to work. But spoiler alert, perfectionism is not only unattainable, but it can also be a major manifestation blocker. It's like trying to run a marathon with your shoelaces tied together, not fun and highly ineffective. Neville Goddard never said you had to be perfect to manifest your desires. In fact, the universe loves authenticity and imperfection. When you're striving for perfection, you're often operating from a place of fear, fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of not being enough. This fear creates resistance and can actually push your desires further away. It's like holding on to something too tightly, only to see it slip through your fingers. The truth is, you don't need to have perfect thoughts, emotions or actions to manifest. What matters is consistency and commitment to your vision. It's okay to have doubts or bad days. They don't cancel out your manifestations. The key is to acknowledge them, course correct and keep moving forward. It's a journey, not a sprint, and every step counts, even the wobbly ones. To combat perfectionism, embrace the concept of good enough. Sometimes good enough is exactly what's needed to get the ball rolling. Whether it's starting a new project, making a decision, or simply getting through the day, aim for progress, not perfection. Remember the universe is flexible and forgiving. It doesn't demand perfection, it responds to your genuine effort and intention. Celebrate your imperfections and mistakes as part of the learning process. They are valuable experiences that help you grow and refine your manifestation skills. So, give yourself a break, laugh at your missteps and keep going. The universe has your back and it's more interested in your growth than your perfection. Next, we'll delve into the mistake of underestimating the power of gratitude. Because spoiler, gratitude is your secret superpower. Underestimating gratitude. Gratitude, it's more than just a polite thank you. It's a powerhouse of positive energy that can supercharge your manifestations. Yet many people underestimate its power or overlook it entirely. They get so focused on what they want to manifest that they forget to appreciate what they already have. It's like always looking at the horizon and missing the beauty of the flowers at your feet. Neville Goddard often spoke about the importance of gratitude as a way to align with abundance. When you're grateful, you're acknowledging the goodness in your life, which raises your vibration and attracts more of the same. It's like telling the universe, I love this, more please. Gratitude shifts your focus from lack to abundance, opening the floodgates for more blessings. A common mistake is thinking that you need something external to be grateful for. But gratitude isn't about what you have, it's about the attitude you bring. You can be grateful for simple things, a warm bed, a sunny day, a smile from a stranger. These small moments of appreciation create a ripple effect, attracting more positive experiences into your life. Start a daily gratitude practice. Each morning or evening, jot down three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be monumental, even tiny joys count. The key is to genuinely feel the gratitude, not just go through the motions. Really savor the feeling of gratitude. Let it warm your heart and brighten your mood. This emotional engagement is what makes gratitude so powerful. It's not just a mental exercise, it's an emotional alignment with abundance. In addition to a gratitude journal, try expressing gratitude in different ways. Say thank you to people in your life, compliment strangers, or give back to your community. These acts of gratitude not only uplift others, but also amplify the positive energy around you. It's like creating a ripple of good vibes that spreads far and wide. Gratitude is your secret superpower because it aligns you with the frequency of abundance. When you're in a state of gratitude, you're more receptive to the good things the universe has in store for you. So practice gratitude daily and watch how it transforms your life and accelerates your manifestations. Next, we'll explore the mistake of not being specific enough with your manifestations. Because, spoiler, the universe doesn't do vague orders. The pitfall of vagueness. Clarity is key when it comes to manifesting your desires. Yet, one of the most common mistakes people make is being too vague with their intentions. 
It's like walking into a restaurant and telling the waiter, I'll have some food. Sure, you'll get something, but it might not be what you want. The universe operates on specificity, and if you're not clear about what you want, you might end up with a plate of something you're not excited about. Neville Goddard emphasized the importance of being specific in your manifestations. Instead of saying, I want more money, specify how much you want and why. For example, I am grateful for receiving $10,000 to cover my expenses and invest in my education. This level of detail not only clarifies your intention, but also helps you visualize it more vividly. Vagueness leads to mixed signals. If you're not clear about what you want, the universe can't be clear about what to deliver. It's like sending a text message with half the words missing. The recipient might get the gist, but the full meaning is lost. The clearer and more specific you are, the easier it is for the universe to align with your desires and bring them into your reality. Being specific also helps you focus your energy. When you know exactly what you're aiming for, it's easier to align your thoughts, feelings and actions with that goal. You create a more direct path to your manifestation, reducing distractions and increasing your chances of success. It's like setting a precise GPS location instead of just heading vaguely north. So, the next time you're setting an intention, get detailed. Think about the specifics, how it looks, feels, sounds and even smells. The more sensory details you include, the more real it becomes in your mind. And when it's real in your mind, it's just a matter of time before it becomes real in your life. Next, we'll talk about the mistake of not taking enough inspired action. Because spoiler, manifestation isn't a spectator sport. Lack of inspired action. All right, dreamers and doers, it's time to get moving. A big misconception in the world of manifestation is that you can sit back and let the universe do all the work. While the universe is pretty magical, it still needs your cooperation through inspired action. Think of it like a dance. You lead with your intention, and the universe follows with opportunities. But if you never move, the dance floor stays empty. Neville Goddard taught that inspired action is an essential part of the manifestation process. It's not about hustling hard or forcing things to happen. It's about listening to your intuition and taking steps that feel aligned with your desires. These actions might be small, like researching a new career, or big, like moving to a new city. The key is to act on the opportunities that the universe presents. A common mistake is waiting for a perfect sign before taking action. Newsflash, the universe often works in mysterious and subtle ways. That gut feeling, that random thought or that chance encounter might be the nudge you need to take the next step. If you're waiting for a neon sign that says, go this way, you might miss the whispers of intuition guiding you. Don't let fear or doubt paralyze you. Taking action, even imperfect action, builds momentum and signals to the universe that you're serious about your desires. It's like showing up to a potluck. You bring something to the table and the universe brings a feast. The more you participate, the more you'll receive. Plus, taking action helps you grow and learn, making you even more prepared to receive your manifestations. Remember, action isn't just about doing, it's about being. Align your actions with the person you want to become. If you're manifesting financial abundance, start managing your money wisely now. If you're manifesting a loving relationship, start being the loving partner you want to attract. These small but significant actions align you with your desires and accelerate the manifestation process. Next, we'll dive into the trap of comparing your journey to others. Because, spoiler, the grass isn't always greener and everyone's timeline is different. The comparison trap. In the age of social media, the comparison trap is an easy one to fall into. It's tempting to look at others' highlight reels and feel like you're falling behind in the manifestation game. But comparing your journey to someone else's is like comparing apples to oranges. Totally different flavors, totally different vibes. And trust us, the comparison trap can seriously stall your manifestation progress. Neville Goddard often spoke about the uniqueness of each person's journey. Your path to manifestation is as unique as your fingerprint, and comparing it to someone else's can lead to unnecessary stress and self-doubt. It's like trying to fit into someone else's shoes. They might look great, but they won't feel right if they're not your size. The problem with comparison is that it shifts your focus from your own growth and progress to someone else's achievements. This not only lowers your vibration, but also distracts you from your own path. 
It's like running a race while constantly looking over your shoulder, you're more likely to trip and fall. Instead, keep your eyes on your own lane and celebrate your own wins, big or small. To avoid the comparison trap, practice self-compassion and gratitude. Acknowledge where you are on your journey and appreciate the progress you've made. Everyone's timeline is different, and just because someone else seems to be manifesting faster doesn't mean you're behind. Remember, the universe has a unique plan for you, and everything is unfolding in perfect timing. Another tip is to limit your exposure to social media, especially if it triggers feelings of inadequacy or jealousy. Instead, focus on content that inspires and uplifts you. Follow channels, read books, and engage with communities that support your growth and remind you of your own power. Surround yourself with positivity and you'll find it easier to stay aligned with your own path. Next, we'll explore the mistake of not trusting the process and the importance of faith in manifestation. Because, spoiler, faith is the bridge between desire and reality. Not trusting the process. Trusting the process sounds simple, right? Yet it's one of the hardest things to do, especially when things aren't happening as quickly as we'd like. But here's the deal. Lack of trust can create resistance, slowing down or even blocking your manifestations. It's like planting a seed and then constantly digging it up to check if it's growing. Spoiler, you're only delaying the bloom. Neville Goddard emphasized the power of faith in the manifestation process. Faith isn't just hoping things will work out, it's knowing they already have. It's about trusting that the universe is working behind the scenes, even when you can't see it. This trust allows you to relax and let go of the need to control every detail, which in turn allows your desires to manifest more easily. One common mistake is letting doubt creep in during the waiting period. It's easy to start questioning whether your desires will ever materialize, especially if you're not seeing immediate results. But remember, the universe operates on divine timing, not human deadlines. Just because you can't see progress doesn't mean it isn't happening. It's like baking a cake. You might not see it rise at first, but that doesn't mean it won't turn out delicious. To strengthen your trust in the process, practice daily affirmations that reinforce your faith. Phrases like, I trust that everything is unfolding perfectly, or the universe is always working in my favor, can help anchor you in a state of faith. Meditation and visualization can also help you connect with your inner knowing and feel more secure in the unfolding of your desires. Another key to trusting the process is to detach from the outcome. This doesn't mean you stop caring about your desires. It means you're open to whatever form they take. Sometimes the universe delivers something even better than what you imagined. By releasing rigid expectations and trusting that everything is working out for your highest good, you create a space for miracles to occur. Next, we'll discuss the mistake of neglecting self-care and how it impacts your manifestation abilities. Because, spoiler, you can't pour from an empty cup. Neglecting self-care. In the hustle and bustle of manifesting your dreams, it's easy to forget about one crucial element, self-care. Neglecting self-care is like trying to run a marathon on an empty tank. Eventually, you'll burn out. Self-care is not a luxury. It's a necessity, especially when you're working towards big goals. It's the foundation that supports your mental, emotional and physical well-being, which in turn impacts your ability to manifest effectively. Think of it as the oil that keeps the engine of your manifestation vehicle running smoothly. Without it, you're likely to face burnout, overwhelm and resistance. Neglecting self-care can lead to a depleted state where negative emotions like stress, anxiety and frustration take over. These low vibrations can counteract your manifestation efforts, making it harder to attract what you desire. Remember like attracts like, and if you're running on fumes you're more likely to attract more situations that make you feel exhausted and drained. Self-care doesn't have to be elaborate or time-consuming. It can be as simple as taking a few moments each day to meditate, exercise or enjoy a hobby. The key is to make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine. It's not about being selfish, it's about refueling so you can show up as your best self in all areas of life including your manifestation practice. Another aspect of self-care is setting boundaries. Protecting your energy from negative influences and overcommitment is crucial. This might mean saying no to certain requests or limiting your exposure to stressful situations and people. 
By prioritizing your well-being, you create a positive environment that supports your manifestation journey. Incorporate regular self-care check-ins. Ask yourself how you're feeling and what you need to recharge. Whether it's a day off, a spa treatment or simply some quiet time, honor your needs. Remember, the better you feel, the higher your vibration and the more effectively you can manifest your desires. Next, we'll tackle the mistake of not embracing change and growth. Because spoiler, the universe loves to surprise you with unexpected upgrades, resisting change and growth. Change, it's the one constant in life, yet so many of us resist it. When it comes to manifestation, resistance to change can be a major roadblock. It's like trying to sail with the anchor down. You won't get very far. Embracing change and growth is essential because manifestation often requires us to become a new version of ourselves, a version that aligns with our desires. Neville Goddard emphasized that you must embody the state of the wish fulfilled, which often means stepping out of your comfort zone and into the unknown. This can be scary because it involves letting go of old habits, beliefs, and sometimes even relationships, but please don't push people out of your life for trivial reasons. But remember, the universe can't bring new blessings into your life if you're holding on to old baggage. It's like trying to wear last season's clothes when you've outgrown them, uncomfortable and outdated. A common mistake is clinging to the familiar, even when it's not serving you. This might mean staying in a job you hate, sticking to a routine that stifles you, or avoiding new opportunities because they seem risky. But here's the kicker. Real growth happens outside your comfort zone. The universe often presents us with challenges not as obstacles but as opportunities to grow into the person we're meant to be. To embrace change, practice being open to new experiences and perspectives. This doesn't mean you have to accept every change that comes your way, but it does mean being willing to consider new possibilities. Ask yourself, what if this change is exactly what I need to manifest my desires? By reframing change as an opportunity rather than a threat, you open yourself up to the positive transformations it can bring. Growth also involves letting go of limiting beliefs. These are the internal narratives that tell you you're not good enough, smart enough or deserving enough. To manifest your desires, you must outgrow these limiting beliefs and replace them with empowering ones. It's about stepping into your power and acknowledging that you're capable of achieving your dreams. Next, we'll explore the mistake of lacking persistence and consistency. Because spoiler, manifestation is a marathon, not a sprint. Lacking persistence and consistency. Persistence and consistency, two words that might not sound glamorous, but they're the bedrock of successful manifestation. It's easy to get excited about setting intentions and visualizing your desires, but the real magic happens in the follow-through. Lacking persistence and consistency is like planting a garden and forgetting to water it. Those seeds of intention need nourishment to grow. Neville Goddard often spoke about the importance of consistent mental diet, monitoring your thoughts and maintaining a state of belief in your desires. This isn't a one-time effort, it's a daily practice. Manifestation is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about showing up every day, even when you don't feel like it and keeping your thoughts aligned with your goals. Consistency builds momentum and momentum turns desires into reality. A common mistake is expecting immediate results and giving up too soon when they don't materialize. It's like expecting a plant to sprout the day after you plant the seed. Manifestation often requires time, and during that time you must persist in maintaining a positive mindset and taking inspired action. Remember, the universe works in mysterious ways, and sometimes things are happening behind the scenes that you can't see yet. To cultivate persistence, set realistic expectations and celebrate small wins along the way. Each small success is a sign that you're on the right track, and it helps to keep your motivation high. Break down your larger goals into smaller, actionable steps and focus on achieving them one at a time. This not only makes the process more manageable, but also gives you a sense of progress and achievement. Stay committed to your daily practices, whether it's visualization, affirmations or gratitude. Even on days when you don't feel particularly inspired, stick to your routine. Consistency in your manifestation practices keeps your vibration high and your focus sharp. It's like training for a marathon. Each day of training gets you closer to crossing the finish line.
Next, we'll discuss the mistake of ignoring intuition and how to tap into this inner guidance. Because guess what? Your intuition is the universe's way of whispering secrets to you. Ignoring intuition. Intuition, it's that subtle inner voice, the gut feeling, the hunch that nudges you in a certain direction. But often, people ignore their intuition in favor of logic or external advice. Big mistake! Ignoring intuition is like turning off your GPS in an unfamiliar city. Your intuition is your internal guidance system, and it's closely connected to the universe's wisdom. Also make sure your intuition has not been clouded by too much outside information or influences. This is why stillness and silence can be helpful and fully developing your intuition. Neville Goddard called it the still small voice, and it's essential for navigating the path to your desires. One common mistake is dismissing intuitive insights because they don't seem logical or practical. But intuition often operates beyond the realm of logic. It's more about feeling and inner knowing. It's the universe's way of giving you hints and nudges, guiding you towards the right people, places and opportunities. Ignoring these signs can lead to missed opportunities and unnecessary detours on your manifestation journey. To strengthen your intuition, start by paying attention to it. Notice the subtle feelings, thoughts or sensations you experience when making decisions. Does a certain choice make you feel excited or anxious? Does it resonate with you on a deeper level? These are clues from your intuition. The more you listen to and act on these intuitive nudges, the stronger your intuition becomes. Another way to tune into your intuition is through meditation and mindfulness practices. These practices quiet the mind and create space for intuitive insights to emerge. In the stillness, you can connect more deeply with your inner wisdom and the guidance of the universe. It's like clearing away the static so you can hear the clear signal of your intuition. Trusting your intuition also involves letting go of the need for external validation. While it's helpful to seek advice and gather information, ultimately, the best guidance comes from within. Your intuition knows what's best for you, even if it doesn't always make sense to others. Trust that inner voice and follow it, even when the path isn't clear. The universe often works in mysterious ways, and intuition is your key to understanding them. Next, we'll address the mistake of not taking responsibility for your life and manifestations. Because, spoiler, you're the creator of your reality, so own it. Not taking responsibility. It's time for some tough love, manifestors. A major mistake people make is not taking full responsibility for their lives and manifestations. It's easy to blame external circumstances, other people, or even the universe when things don't go as planned. But here's the truth. You are the creator of your reality. Neville Goddard emphasized that your thoughts and beliefs shape your world, and taking responsibility is the first step to regaining your power. Blame is a form of resistance that keeps you stuck in a victim mindset. When you blame external factors, you give away your power to change your circumstances. It's like handing over the driver's seat of your life to someone else and then complaining about the destination. Taking responsibility means acknowledging that you have the power to create and change your reality, no matter the circumstances. Taking responsibility doesn't mean blaming yourself for every mishap or failure. It's about recognizing that your beliefs, attitudes and actions play a significant role in shaping your experiences. It's about being accountable for your choices and understanding that you have the ability to make different ones. This mindset shift empowers you to take proactive steps towards your desires. To start taking responsibility, stop looking for excuses and start looking for solutions. If something isn't working, ask yourself what you can do differently. What beliefs do you need to change? What actions can you take? Next, we'll explore the mistake of ignoring intuitive nudges and why listening to your inner voice is crucial for successful manifestation. Your intuition is like your personal GPS. Ignore it at your own peril. Ignoring intuitive nudges. Ever get that gut feeling or a random thought that pops into your head? That's your intuition talking, and it's like your personal GPS on the road to manifestation. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is ignoring these intuitive nudges. It's like having a treasure map and tossing it aside. You're missing out on valuable guidance that can lead you to your desires. Neville Goddard taught that intuition is a key component of the manifestation process. It's the universe's way of nudging you in the right direction. 
These nudges can come in many forms, dreams, sudden inspirations, or even a random person mentioning something relevant. The trick is to pay attention and act on them. Ignoring these signals is like silencing your inner compass. You might end up wandering off course. So why do people ignore their intuition? Often it's because of fear or doubt. Maybe the nudge feels too risky or out of the norm, so it's easier to dismiss it. But here's the thing, your intuition is rarely wrong. It knows what you need even if your rational mind can't see it yet. Trusting these nudges can lead to serendipitous opportunities and open doors you didn't even know existed. To strengthen your connection with your intuition, practice mindfulness and quiet your mind regularly. Meditation, journaling and spending time in nature are great ways to tune into that inner voice. The more you listen, the louder and clearer it becomes. It's like tuning an instrument. The more you practice, the better it sounds. And the better it sounds, the more harmonious your life becomes. Another tip is to act quickly on your intuitive insights. The longer you wait, the more likely doubt and rationalization will creep in, convincing you to ignore the nudge. Even if it feels uncomfortable, taking that first step can build confidence and reinforce your trust in your intuition. Remember, your intuition is there to guide you towards your highest good, so give it the attention it deserves. Next, we'll delve into the mistake of being too attached to the outcome and how letting go can actually bring your desires faster. Being too attached to the outcome. Attachment. It's a word that can spell doom for your manifestation efforts. Buddhism tends to talk about how attachment is what creates suffering in the lives of human beings, and we'd have to agree with that. Being too attached to the outcome is like holding on to a bird too tightly. You risk crushing it. When it comes to manifesting, attachment often stems from a fear of not getting what you want. But this fear-based energy creates resistance, which can actually push your desires away. It's the ultimate paradox. The more you obsess, the less likely you are to manifest. Neville Goddard often spoke about the importance of detachment. Detachment doesn't mean you don't care about your desires, it means you're not obsessing over them. It's about maintaining a healthy balance between desire and non-attachment. Think of it like planting a garden. You tend to the plants, but you don't constantly dig them up to check if they're growing. You trust that with the right care, they will bloom in their own time. One common mistake is fixating on a specific outcome or timeline. For example, wanting a specific job by a certain date or a relationship with a particular person. While it's okay to have preferences, rigidly clinging to them can limit the universe's ability to deliver something even better. It's like ordering off a menu without looking at the specials. You might miss out on an amazing dish you didn't know existed. To practice detachment, focus on the feeling of having your desires rather than the specifics. It's the essence of what you want that's most important, not the exact form it takes. When you align with the feeling, you open yourself up to all the ways the universe can fulfill that feeling. This openness allows for unexpected and delightful outcomes that may surpass your original vision. Another technique is to use the affirmation, this or something better. It reinforces the idea that the universe may have plans greater than you can imagine. By releasing your grip on specific outcomes, you allow the universe to work its magic in ways you couldn't have planned. Remember, the universe is abundant and limitless and so are the possibilities for your life. Next, we'll talk about the danger of not having fun with the manifestation process. Because if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Not having fun with the process. Manifestation should be a joyful and exciting process, not a chore or a source of stress. Yet many people fall into the trap of taking it too seriously, turning what should be a fun, creative endeavor into a rigid, joyless task. It's like going to a theme park and focusing only on the lines instead of enjoying the rides. Where's the fun in that? Neville Goddard believed that the state of joy and playfulness is a powerful attractor of positive experiences. When you're having fun, you're naturally in a high vibrational state which aligns you with your desires. It's like turning on a light switch. Everything becomes brighter and more attractive. On the flip side, taking things too seriously can lower your vibration and make the process feel like a burden. One common mistake is getting caught up in the rules of manifestation. While techniques and practices are helpful, they shouldn't become rigid constraints that suck the joy out of the experience. Remember, manifestation is a co-creative dance with the universe. 
It's meant to be fluid and fun, not a strict regimen. So, if you find yourself getting too serious, take a step back and ask, how can I make this more enjoyable? Incorporate play into your manifestation practice, whether it's dancing to your favorite music, doodling your dreams, or visualizing in a fun, fantastical way, find ways to make it light and enjoyable. The more you enjoy the process, the more aligned you are with the energy of your desires. It's like adding sprinkles to ice cream. It makes everything better. Also, don't forget to celebrate the small wins along the way. Every step you take towards your desires, every sign or synchronicity is a reason to celebrate. These moments of joy not only make the journey more enjoyable, but also boost your confidence and keep your vibration high. So, throw a mini party for yourself every time you see progress and keep the energy of fun alive. Now let's get into the importance of consistent action. I promise it's not what you think it is. Underestimating consistent action. Consistency, it's not the most glamorous word, but it's the bedrock of successful manifestation. One of the biggest mistakes people make is underestimating the power of consistent action. It's easy to get excited about manifestation techniques for a few days or weeks, but then life happens. Enthusiasm wanes and consistency goes out the window. It's like starting a workout routine and giving up after the first week. Results come from sustained effort, not sporadic bursts. Neville Goddard emphasized the importance of consistent belief and practice. Manifestation isn't a one-time event, it's a continuous process. Just as you wouldn't expect to get fit from one gym session, you can't expect to master manifestation without consistent effort. This doesn't mean you have to be perfect every day, but it does mean showing up regularly and keeping your intentions alive. Consistency builds momentum. The more regularly you engage in your manifestation practices, whether it's visualizing affirmations, scripting, or taking inspired actions, the more you reinforce your intentions. This consistent focus helps to program your subconscious mind and align your energy with your desires. It's like training a muscle. The more you work it, the stronger it becomes. Over time, this consistency builds a solid foundation for your manifestations to take root and flourish. One mistake is to get discouraged by the lack of immediate results and then give up. Remember, manifestation is a process that requires patience and persistence. Just because you don't see results right away doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes. The universe is always at work, aligning people, circumstances and opportunities in your favor. Trust that your consistent efforts are paying off, even if you can't see the full picture yet. Create a routine that incorporates your manifestation practices into your daily life. This could be as simple as a morning affirmation ritual, a nightly visualization session or journaling your gratitude. The key is to make it a regular part of your day, like brushing your teeth. The more you integrate these practices into your life, the more natural and effortless they become. Track your progress and celebrate your consistency. Keep a journal of your daily actions and any signs of progress. Reflect on what's working and where you might need to adjust. This not only keeps you accountable, but also provides a motivational boost when you see how far you've come. Remember, every small step counts towards your bigger goals. Next, we'll discuss the final mistake, not believing in the magic of the universe. Because that's like not believing in the magic of you. Not believing in the magic. And here we are at the final mistake, not believing in the magic of the universe. At the heart of all manifestation is belief, belief in yourself, in your dreams, and in the boundless magic of the universe. But many people struggle with doubt and skepticism, which can severely limit their ability to manifest. It's like having a magic wand but not believing it works, so you never use it. Neville Goddard often spoke about the power of belief as the cornerstone of manifestation. Belief is the fuel that powers your intentions and brings them into reality. Without belief, your manifestations lack the necessary energy to materialize. It's like trying to drive a car without gas. No matter how hard you press the pedal, you're not going anywhere. A common mistake is allowing external circumstances to shake your belief. Maybe you've faced setbacks or haven't seen results yet. And it's easy to let these experiences dampen your faith. But belief isn't about what's happening around you. It's about what's happening within you. It's about holding a vision of your desires with unwavering faith, regardless of the current reality. This inner belief creates the outer reality. To strengthen your belief, surround yourself with positive influences. 
Read inspiring books, watch motivational videos and connect with like-minded individuals who uplift and encourage you. The more you immerse yourself in positivity, the stronger your belief in the magic of the universe becomes. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. The universe is always conspiring to help you. Finally, practice self-affirmations that reinforce your belief. Statements like, I believe in the magic of the universe and I trust in the power of my intentions can help solidify your faith. Repeat these affirmations daily, especially during moments of doubt. They act as a powerful reminder of the limitless possibilities that await you. As we wrap up this journey through common manifestation mistakes, remember that the key to successful manifestation lies in understanding and aligning with universal principles. Let go of what holds you back, embrace what empowers you, and trust in the magic of the universe. Your dreams are within reach, believe it and you'll see it. Thank you for joining us on the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications. We're excited to see what magical manifestations 2024 brings for you. Until next time, happy manifesting.